Okay, let's talk about three habits or skills that you really need uh, to get better at algebra. Okay, these are essential uh, habits and skills uh, in mathematics, not only in algebra, but all mathematics. And a lot of students kind of minimize this. They kind of like uh, think that, yeah, it's important, but they, they don't really follow through. Even though they know it, uh, they don't follow through. I guess that's kind of what we call common sense. Uh, but I really want to stress uh, these three critical habits uh, slash skills. I call them skills because a habit, you know, kind of morphs into a skill, right? This, it's a kind of a, an art form, right? But these are things that you have to practice every time you do math. And this is what I'm going to be talking about. I actually have an example problem to kind of illustrate this, but uh, this is going to be a very helpful uh, video for those of you that are obviously serious about doing well in math. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by uh, following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm gonna be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GMAT, GRE, ASVAB, CLEP exam, ACUPLACE, or ALEX, uh, teacher certification exam, nursing school entrance exam, all those exams and many, many others have a lot of math on them. And if you don't do well on the math sections, you don't do well on the exam. So uh, definitely would like to help you out. Uh, prepare for these uh, exams. So just go to my uh, website, check out my full course catalog. I should have your exam. If I do not, please drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot of work with independent learners like homeschoolers. So I have a great homeschool learning system if you homeschool. And then obviously uh, help those of you that uh, are in math classes and you're just uh, struggling. But um, this video is going to help you out. Okay, If you're struggling in your, your course, this video is going to help you out. But if you're really serious about improving in math, then you got to take great math notes. So over decades of teaching math, one thing is just crystal clear to me that those students who take great math notes almost always end up with grades like A+. And then uh, with students that uh, don't take any math notes at all, maybe you might get a C-. minus. That was me back in the 1980s because I was completely distracted. That was still a pretty cool decade. Even though we didn't have the internet, we had like pay phones and all this kind of stuff. Matter of fact, I think it was the late 80s or the early 90s when we had a beeper. That was a pretty cool thing. And uh, if you don't know what a beeper is, it's a little device that you would um, kind of, you could put in your pocket or wear on your little, um, your belt. And then when people called you, this thing would vibrate. But, you know, we thought we were cool stuff way back in those good old days. Uh, but anyways, listen, not to digress. The bottom line is this. Just it doesn't make a difference what decade you grew up in, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, now. Uh, there's a lot of distraction in school, okay? Easy not to pay attention. And guess what? You'll end up with grades like this. Your only way to be successful in math is to be focused. And the only way you're going to stay focused is to be taking notes, okay? you got to be taking great notes, all right? And you can't miss anything. But uh, as you're improving in your note-taking, um, I actually offer detailed comprehensive math notes that you can study from to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, let's get into these three habits or skills that you need uh, to be great at algebra or any math. All right, whoops. So here we go. I'll just reveal them one at a time. And our first one is neatness. Neatness. You have to be neat, okay? Uh, too many uh, students will write like this, 2x minus 5 plus 3 equals negative 7. You know, you see this stuff. Now, why can I state that a lot of students are sloppy? Well, one, I was very sloppy back in the good old days, and I had to work at being uh, neat. But I also have probably graded uh, maybe 100 million different quizzes, tests, and papers over uh, decades. Now, of course, I'm being uh, uh, crazy there. There's no way I would have done 100 million, but you get the idea. Definitely thousands, maybe tens of thousands. Who knows? I mean, I see this stuff all the time, and I could just see that uh, those students that are not neat are not, they're not, they don't do well. Okay. Why? Now, why is that? It's pretty obvious because you can't see what you're writing and the teacher can't really understand what you're writing. So you're going to have to make a real effort 
and uh, being neat. Now, how can you uh, become uh, neater? Well, the first uh, the little recommendation I would have for you is to slow down, okay? Slow down. And the second thing is to kind of use, like, uh, use the paper. Use the lines on the paper. So let's say you have, like, college line paper or whatever the case is. Just like when you were learning in uh, first grade, second grade, try to keep everything at a consistent font size, pitch size, and stay within the lines. And then, oh, the last thing here is to use pencil, okay? Don't use pen, use pencil. So like 3x plus 1, try to keep things nice and neat. But remember, the way you practice math, you're developing a habit, okay? So if you uh, do your homework sloppy, if you take sloppy notes, you're going to be sloppy, okay? You need to be neat in order to be great at math, right? This is uh, neat will equal like, uh, you know, excellent grades like A's. If you're sloppy, even if you get the answer right, okay, oftentimes your teacher is still going to call you out on it. This is a huge thing. So really work on it. And uh, for some reason over the years, uh, uh, young men, they seem to have a little bit of a uh, more of an issue with that. Just my tendency, uh, the ladies in the class, they were uh, neater. I don't know why that is, but whatever it is, don't feel bad if you're sloppy right now. You, what you need to do is work on this. Be aware, be, well, you know, uh, have like kind of situation awareness and slow down. When you go uh, uh, to do your next homework assignment or take your next set of notes, really focus in on neatness. Okay, let's get to our next one. Uh, our next one is show all steps. This kind of uh, goes into this idea of neatness. When you do a problem, and I got a problem here in a second. Let's say I have 3x plus 1 is equal to negative 7x minus uh, 9. Okay. Well, there's steps involved here to do this problem, to get to the answer. Let's say it's x equals, I don't know, let's say 4. I have no idea if that's the actual answer. But uh, what I'm talking about here is you got to show each step. Okay, you got to show this step, this step, this step. Uh, and a lot of students, they'll just kind of skip steps, right? They'll, uh, they'll, for whatever reason, they're doing things in their brain. Maybe they don't want to waste uh, uh, their paper. But listen, you have to show all steps. Take your time, be nice and neat and organized and structured, and show each step of the problem. What you really need to be doing is you got to model uh, after the way your teacher is showing you how to do do the prompt, okay? Now, hopefully, your teacher is showing you example prompts step by step by step by step. You need to make your work look like what they're doing because okay? so that's a good indication. If your work doesn't look like what they would do, uh, then you're not showing all the correct steps, right? This is very, very important, and it ties in with neatness. Okay, so this brings us to our last uh, habit, and there's other ones here, but I didn't want to overwhelm you. And we'll take a look at an example here. And that is uh, double check each step. You have to double check each step. So when, you, when you're when you doing a step, check that. Before you move on to the next step, like like look at that step. Kind of grade it, if you will. Act as if you're a teacher. But okay, if that step is correct, mm, if it's good, if it looks good, then take another step. Or then stop and pause and double check. Because if you just go all the way down real quick to the answer, and then you're like, hmm, let me go and start checking this, da, 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 da. Well, let's say you found an error right in your first step. All of this stuff down here would be incorrect, okay? You got to work smarter, not harder. Uh, so this is very, very important. Double check each step. And now let's take a look at a quick example. And uh, here we have an equation, okay? Now, uh, this equation here, uh, let me just get my adjust this. All right, so this equation, okay, is going to require uh, many steps to solve. Okay, you can see here I'm solving the steps. But if you're not uh, focused, neat, and structured, okay, there's no way you're going to be able to really have confidence in your final answer. Maybe you got it right, but you need to show each step. You got to be neat and you got to double check as you go. So let's go ahead and just go through this real quick. So here we have negative three. I have to multiply it by y and negative 2. If you don't know how to do this equation, by the way, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, I have plenty of videos on solving equations in my pre-algebra algebra, algebra playlist and my uh, YouTube channel. Of course, you can just sign up for my algebra course and really master this stuff. But uh, here, 
I have to focus on doing the distributor property. So negative 3 times y. Okay, that looks good right here. Negative 3 times that negative 2, that's a positive 6. Now I have this negative times this negative 4. That's going to be a positive y. And this negative times that positive 1 is negative 1. Okay, so I'm just focusing here. I have this negative 10 and 5y. So at this point, I want to start cleaning up both sides of the equation. Uh, so I have uh, like terms, a negative 3y and a 4y. That's concentrating. And that's 1y. Okay. And then 6 and a negative 1 is 5. And then I'm just going to bring down this uh, other, um, this negative 10 and this positive y. But let's just stop and just check here. So at this step right here, okay, I'm kind of double checking. I'm looking, okay, did I do this right? I'm kind of, you know, uh, saying, all right, from here to here is this, da, 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 da. you're just double checking your math. Okay, if you're satisfied, take another step. Now at this point, I'm saying, okay, 1y plus 5 equals negative 10. Is that right? Uh, I just did it, but let me just look at it again. Negative 3y, 4y, okay, positive 1y, da, 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 da. You know, you're kind of grading yourself. You're double checking. All right, this is not optional. This is the way you work. Okay, your eyes are going to be uh, scanning, looking for errors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I would say a good uh, approach here would just assume that 75% uh, of the work that you do one time without double checking, there will be an error. Just assume that you're going to make a mistake. Uh, now, you might know what you're doing, but it could be an arithmetic mistake. You could write something wrong. Just assume there's an error and try to find it. That's a kind of good mental uh, hack to help you out as well. Okay, so 1y plus 5 is equal to negative 10 plus 5y. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take another step. I'm going to move uh, these uh, this variable. Okay, negative 5y. I'm going to move my variables over to the left. Again, I'm not trying to teach you all of this in this particular video. just illustrating that we have to take this equation one step at a time. All right, I'm adding down. I get negative 4y plus 5. I have my negative 10. I don't have a, a 5y over here anymore. Now what I have to do, I have to move my uh, numbers all the way over to the right-hand side. So I'm showing all these steps. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation, and I'm checking as I'm going. I can see my work. I can see the flow, and your teacher is going to be extremely impressed by all of this because you're going to be like, wow, they're making my job super easy uh, to grade. A matter of fact, they're going to probably give you a happy face with a mohawk, an A+, a 100%. Matter of fact, you might so impress them that they might just say, you know what, take the textbook home and I'll see you next year. You're probably watching that guy on YouTube and that's why you're doing so well. But listen, uh, if you can make your work look like their work, then, you know, that's good stuff, right? All right, so let's continue on. Again, if you don't know how to do this particular problem, you can see the steps, but uh, this would be like solving a linear equations. And let's see here, negative 4y is equal to negative 15. Now I have to divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. And here is my final answer, okay? So I have a lot of confidence in this answer because I'm writing each step, okay? And I'm double checking as I'm going each step, okay? Now it doesn't mean that you still can't uh, make a little error someplace, okay? But you're definitely going to significantly reduce the odds of, of uh, you know, having an error in your final answer, like by 99%, okay? Because you're grading as you're going, and you can see what you're doing because you're neat, okay? You're neat, you're double checking, and uh, you're showing uh, all the steps, okay? So let's go ahead and just reiterate this. You got to be neater, right? If you're super neat right now, that's awesome. Okay, but if you're not, slow down, uh, use the lines in your paper, and use pencil. Practice showing all your steps, model the teacher, okay, or model how I do things, and then get into the mental habit of double checking each step uh, with the flow of the problem. If you do that, you are going to be absolutely awesome in uh, algebra. Matter of fact, you know, everyone's going to be coming to you, they're going to be like, How did you get so great in algebra? Uh, you could probably even become a tutor at your school and charge people money. You know, be like, listen, you know, I can help you out. You know, give me five bucks and I'll teach you how to solve this equation. Uh, you might think I'm being kind of funny, but, you know, 
you know, there's uh, if you could help someone else in math, and some you know that's like a little tutoring uh, business right there, uh, especially like the, at the college level. I've been tutoring for oh boy, I can't decades and decades and decades, and that's uh, good. You know, find someone who can help you out, and yeah, maybe you could be that person to help uh, someone out. It might be your younger brother or sister. Who knows, right? Maybe your older brother and sister. That would be even cooler because you'd be like, man, look, I'm younger than you, but look how much better in math I am. Anyways, I know this because I have six sisters. I'm the only uh, brother. And uh, anyways, so I know what it's like to have siblings. But let's go ahead and wrap up this video with uh, this. If you're serious at getting great at math, not just good, you know, if you're serious about getting great at algebra, especially, you got to follow through. What I'm telling you here, uh, especially with the note taking and these habits, if you do these things, you're going to be uh, excellent. Okay. Now, if this video uh, you found somewhat useful, okay, or if you even like this video, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've uh, been on YouTube for a long time, over 10 years. I got over a thousand videos on my channel organized from basic to advanced mathematics. Um, so those videos are there for you. Okay. My passion is to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Nobody should be failing math these days. There's just too much resources out there. If you're doing your part and right, taking notes and you know, working hard at it intelligently, following these habits, going to your teacher for help, you're going to do very well. Okay. Uh, and if you need additional instruction and you like my teaching style, for example, please take advantage of my videos. That's what they're there for. Uh, but my best math help will be within my best uh, will be within my math help program. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.